Hey guys, it's Eli Infante, and today we're gonna to cover a two light setup in order to capture this epic sunset. Whenever you have a sunset like this in Texas and during blue hour, these go away really quick. So I needed to move fast. So I made sure I used my FJ200s, which is great because they're small and they're portable and it was easy to move around. So I had one in my Octa M and another one in my Octa S Octabox. So the Octa M was my key light and the Octa S was my rim light. And the first step to capture this photograph is to meter for my ambient exposure. Then I add my key light and then I add my rim light with the Octa S. It's important to remember when you're capturing a photograph like this during blue hour, a lot of your ambient exposure is gonna be underexposed and you have to know the correct balance in your camera and the raw capabilities in knowing what you can recover and what you can't recover. So throughout this process, I was originally at shutter speed 500, which I had it way too dark. And then I brought my shutter speed all the way down to 125 to bring in more ambient. If there's anything that we need to change, like on your end, so you're gonna kind of rotate it and then see like, oh, you know what, I, lied. I need to change this or whatever, okay? So just take a look at the pictures. You can rotate it here. Okay. One tip is to show your subject the photographs. If you think you got the perfect shot, let them take a look because there might be that one little tweak that they can add by maybe tilting their head or maybe they might not like the side that they're being photographed and that'll help you at the very end to get the perfect shot. Let us know in the comments which photograph you prefer best, the full body shot or the shots where I went in for a three quarter. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe.